Observation now? Yes, I want to take photos and record them in my notebook. Let's take pictures of them together. Tap the butterfly to take a picture of it. All done with the photos. Let's stick the photos in the notebook. The butterfly likes to eat nectar. The butterfly likes to flip from flower to flower. The wings of the butterfly look the same on both sides. It's so pretty. <laughs> I want to make a beautiful butterfly too. Well, let's do it together. So that we can cut out a symmetrical butterfly. Draw half of the butterfly's body. Then cut it out. Look, cut the folded paper and you will get a symmetrical pattern when you unfold it. Isn't that amazing? Wow, that's so true. Color the right wing of the butterfly with the same color to make it symmetrical. The patterns on the left and right wings of the butterfly are the same. You are so smart. Quack, 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 quack. Quacky, did you know most insects are symmetrical? Really? Let's find some insects and check if they're symmetrical. Okay. Where are the insects? Get your camera on it. is symmetrical. Its left and right wings have the same shape, color, and pattern. That's right. The other insects are crooked, so I'm not sure. First, let's cut out the insect from the photo for better observation. Kids, can you help me finish cutting the remaining insect? The fluttering moth has been cut out. Well done. Quacky, look! The insect isn't crooked now! Yeah! Let's fold it in half. When we fold it and the two halves match exactly, then it is symmetrical. Oh! I got it now! Fold the paper in half. Wow! Both sides are the same in size and shape. Is the dragonfly symmetrical? Job. Most insects are symmetrical. Ah, uh, my kite. Huh? What happened? Let's go and have a look. Rocky, why is your kite broken? My kite went off balance. It got caught on a branch. I know why. Your kite is not symmetrical. Miss May May said that kites are designed to be symmetrical in order to fly high and steady. My kite. Woof, woof. Don't be sad. I'll help you make a new symmetrical kite. These kites are all symmetrical. Pick one you like. Butterfly kite. You've picked a nice kite. Now, let's make the body of the kite. Fold the paper in half. Draw half of the butterfly on the paper. Now, cut out the butterfly. Let's decorate the kite. Okay. Kids, can you help me draw the other half of the kite? This way, the kite will be symmetrical. What color should I use here? A pair of 
of antenna to the butterfly. Next, let's make a frame for the kite. Firstly, apply glue to the kite. Lay the wooden sticks in place to secure the kite. a new kite for you. I really like this kite. Thank you. You're welcome. Here we come, Stan. Welcome to my shape factory. You can put together a lot of shape elves with simple parts. Wow. I want to put together the shape elves. Here is a notebook for you. Can you help fill in the blanks? Leave it to me! We've arrived at the square factory! Let's use the square parts to piece elves! Sure! What kind of shape elf can we make with these two squares? Let me try! Is it like this? No, it's not right! Well, how about this? That's not right! I don't know how to put them together! I will tell you the answer! Look at these two squares. They have sides of the same length. Then, we put the same sides together to make a rectangle. I got it! If the sides are the same length, you can put them together. That's right. Quack, quack. I've learned it. Let's put a rectangle elf together. Sure. How do you make a rectangle elf with these parts? Hmm... It's a rectangle elf! Let's put together a big square elf. Sure! Do you know how to make a big square elf with these parts? Hmm. Yes! Yeah! Wow! Let's record the formula. Kids, can you help me put the stickers on the notebook? Two squares can be put together to make a rectangle. Four squares can be put together to make a big square. Second stop, the triangle factory. Quacky, do you know what shape we can make with triangles? Um, I don't know. Let's try it together. Sure. Drag the triangle part to the top. Tap and hold the arrow to rotate the triangle. Next, fill up this area. Great! Yeah! It's a square oh. elf! <laughs> what else can we make with two triangles?
found that the two triangles can be put together to form many shapes. We can make a big triangle, a square, and even a parallelogram. That's right. Let's go to the next stop. Go! Last stop, the factory with different shapes. Kiki, what kind of elves are we going to make next? Let's take a look. with a square and two triangles. We also made a rectangle with a trapezoid and two triangles. Different shapes can be put together to make many different elves. You are so smart. Hey. Stan, we have recorded all the formulas. Wow, that's awesome. Thank you. Quack, 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 quack. 